yeah this is just the only thing that i need to do everything else i think looks quite good so let's go <laughs> You're gonna need four things from Amazon, which I've already linked down below in the description box. This metallic spray paint, this masking tape, this glue gun that comes with the glue stick, as well as the centerpiece. And the other things that I bought is just, I don't even know what to call this. This is just like a wooden piece um, and they had you know, a numerous different designs on Amazon and they weren't super expensive either. I just bought this one because I, I knew that it was gonna, I measured my the top of my mirror and I knew that this was gonna fit quite nicely. They had ones that were like as small as like maybe like the size of my, my hand or maybe even smaller, or maybe my fist. They had ones that were a little bit larger than that, but I feel like this one would just, you know, it would just fit perfectly on my mirror and it would go well, I think. And I know that that's just like a very, very simple looking mirror and like usually they have more of an elaborate design like this one that I have on my table, like on the on the side and on the bottom, they have like these kind of like more details. But I feel like even just this, even just the top part like that, if I paint everything gold, it's still gonna look really nice. And if anything, I can, you know, go ahead and buy some additional ones to add to the bottom or to the side to make it seem... Um, I guess like more add to it. Um, so let's go. The next thing I'm gonna do is use the masking tape to tape all the edges so that my paint doesn't get on the mirror part. So I actually taped it three times to make sure that when I paint this, I'm not gonna get any on the mirror itself. And when I was spraying the, the top part of it, it actually covered a lot of surface. So I wanted to tape it three times. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make like, a, um, just like uh, with the pl plastic bag that I have here, just a trash can bag. I'm just going to tape it so that I have enough to cover the ground underneath it when I paint so I don't get any on the on my balcony itself. I know that Amazon actually sells or at hardware stores they actually sell um, plastic covering specific specifically for painting but I already had this one lying in the house so I didn't want to buy anything else. Hmm. Actually, I had to mask, use the masking tape to cover the whole area because the spray was getting on the mirror. Ugh. So that's after a coat, one coat. And then it says either after an hour or after 24 hours, I can do a second coat if I wanted to. I'm gonna see what it looks like after one hour and then just do a second coat or decide not to. It's next morning and I'm gonna check on my mirror.
board looks like. Also quite dry. <gasps> it looks so pretty. Now, uh, now that the both pieces are nice and dry, I think I'm pretty okay with how it turned out. Um, it's not completely perfect. Like there are some spots that uh, I might I might have like sprayed too much. I think next time if I were to do it, I'm gonna spray it a lot carefully so it's more evenly covering the mirror itself. Oh my goodness, I see myself. <laughs> um, but it came out really nice, so I'm just gonna use super glue from Gorilla to piece everything together. It was a complete failure to use the Gorilla glue because I think the surface was actually quite uneven, so it didn't stick and hold. So I dropped it and it broke. But that part I, I Gorilla glued and then I ordered some glue gun so that it we can stick it again. In the back, I just held it up with a tape so it doesn't fall. And we will continue this DIY mirror making when the glue gun arrives. Finally, this is today is what? Today is Memorial Day, Monday. May 25th, I think. The glue gun has arrived over the weekend, but this weekend I wanted to spend as much time with Matt as possible since we were celebrating his birthday. Wow. So today we are going to use it to finish our vintage golden mirror over there. So let's get started. All right, so this is what came in the package. I just got this on Amazon. This had really, really good review. So I decided just to get it, um, but it's, but it was like the smaller one. They also had a larger one, but I just thought, you know, it'll be easy to, I guess, like store this. Um, yeah, and it came with a bunch of little glue gun, glue sticks. And we're just gonna glue the top part of the mirror on. So super simple guys, you actually don't need to do much, you just have to stick the like the glue stick inside this hole here and once you plug this in and you turn it on it, and then you like hold the trigger, it's gonna automatically just start melting the glue and then you can just use it like this. So where we left off is that I've already painted the whole mirror in gold. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. And I think the color was actually quite, like I love the color. Um, they also have the color in a little bit slightly like orange tone, like copper tone. But I'm really happy with the one that I chose because I think, I don't know, it just works really well. And the only thing that didn't work out the first time we tried it was the sticking the top part, the wooden center part on because I thought I could just use like a Gorilla glue to do it, but it didn't stick on. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to use a glue gun to do it. So let's do this. How am I going to do it? It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It took literally like, what, two seconds. <laughs> I just glued it 
um, and then I put it on and it immediately stuck to the top part of the mirror and it literally just glued on and it's there. So here is the final result of the vintage golden mirror. I think it looks fantastic and it just elevated my whole bedroom to looking more luxurious and classy. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to be taking so many mirror selfies with this. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys try it out, please make sure to let me know. I would love to see how it turned out for you. Um, and since I've already gone through the mistake that I went through, maybe you guys can avoid making the same mistakes. Uh, this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also know that I have the whole room tour that's coming up soon. I'm not done with the decorating yet. I've, um, so far I've done the mirror and I, you know, changed the location of the bed and everything, but I still have a large shelf that's coming in that I want to decorate and then make it into like a little fashion kind of like, a what is that called? Like a shelf. <laughs> uh, so stay tuned. I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably gonna upload this video as like a separate one, how to do a DIY gold mirror. And then I'm gonna do like a vlog style of the, the whole room. And I'll show you guys like the rest of the room uh, in that video. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post two videos per week and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.